Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an app icon. So you've created your apps, you, you've watched my other tutorials on how to do some coding and you now have a fully functional app that you want to publish to the App Store. And one of the things that you need in order to do that is of course an app icon. So in this video I'm going to show you the process that I go through in order to design awesome looking app icons for your awesome app. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do just that and if that is something you want to learn how to do then just keep watching. Okay, so let's start creating a new logo. And I'm just starting all the way from scratch. I have no idea which type of logo I'm going to make. So I'm going to take you through exactly the same process that I go through when I create a logo for my apps. So I just opened Sketch, which is my program of choice. I think it's an awesome program that lets you easily create icons, but of course there's so many uh, other softwares out there, so just pick yours. But um, first of all, the first step is knowing your app, which is probably the easiest step because you have coded it, you have made it, so you know what your app is about. Now, in this case, I am going to make an app, um, I'm going to make a notebook app uh, where I can write and stuff. And of course, I'm not going to make the app, but I'm going to make the icon for the notebook app. So this is how I go about it. I first take the main theme of my app, which is a notebook. And then I try to break it down into just one element. So in my case, it's still a notebook. And then I try to find an icon for that element. So then I go to Google to find some inspiration and I type in a notebook icon. And I go to pictures and I just try to find some icon that looks pretty minimalistic, which is the, the trend nowadays. So you just want to find right here. You just want to find something very minimalistic that's easy to make and that also looks nice to for the user. And because uh, minimalism and flat icons is so hugely popular nowadays, I'm going to turn this one into my app icon. But of course I can't just use that, that would be infringing upon some copyrights probably and I also want it to be high res so I can change it around and make my own thing. But I'm going to become inspired of it, I'm going to let myself be inspired by it. So I'm now going to make the icon and I'm going to just try as to my best of my abilities to make my icon resemble this one and then I can put some my touches on it. So let's see, I'm just going to put it in fast forward and uh, make this icon as best as I can. So here, as you can see, is my copy of the notebook. And this is just a flat icon, a simple flat icon. And what I am going to do is I'm going to change it a bit up because I just want my app to be app icon to be black and white. So I'm going to first of all create the outer rims of my app icon, which should be 1024 by 1024. That should be the proportions. And I'm just going to scale it down so that it fits my icon like that. And here, as you can see, is a pretty nice looking icon in my opinion. But I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to put it into my colors. So I'm going to have a black background. And then these lines are also going to be black. And as you can see, it's just about also trying different stuff because you won't uh, hit jackpot the first time. Often designing stuff is about trying things, um, going a bit back and forth on your designs. But here I'm just going to show you how I would normally go about doing this or every time I go about doing it like this, like that. And here you have it. Here you have a uh, uh, an okay looking app icon. Let's see, let's try to make this white. 
I'm just showing you that it's all about experimentation here. And normally I would go back and forth a bit more. I could even make these just have a black border and then have a white filling like that. No, I like to keep it black and um, I could try to remove this one. This also looks pretty okay. So I think that I will leave it at that. But as you can see, it's not about, you know, coming up with a perfect design and then just writing it or um, creating that from scratch is about you know narrowing your app down to one icon like this notebook here then searching for inspiration be it Google uh, which is probably the place where you, where it's best to look on Google and then just type in your item or your symbol uh, with the keyword icon behind it because then you will get a lot of inspiration from similar icons like I did here and then you can just try to copy it and then try to change it a little bit around. And that is how I got from this picture right here to that picture right there. And how, how long has, has this video lasted? 10 to 15 minutes. So that is how you create an app, app icon very easily. And that is the process that I always go through when I create new app icons. And hopefully this helps you with creating awesome looking app icons for your awesome app. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you click the subscribe button if you enjoyed it so that you stay tuned for more awesome tutorials. And once again, thank you for watching.